Hi everyone. Today we're going to focus on Sierra Nevada Corporation and their role in space exploration. Sierra Nevada Corporation is partnering with Dynetics on their Artemis Human Landing System development contract. Sierra Nevada Corporation has also received a commercial resupply contract from NASA to deliver cargo, return, and disposal services to the International Space Station using their Dream Chaser space plane. We're going to look at the Dream Chaser space plane, its features, and future plans in this video. I'm sorry, I don't have a Dream Chaser t-shirt, so I decided to wear my shuttle t-shirt, which is similar to the Dream Chaser. Welcome to Reaching for the Moon, hosted by me, Ed Grace. For those of you that don't know me, I worked on the Apollo program for 10 years while I was at MIT, and I was on the Apollo 13 mission operations team that was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom for getting the astronauts back. Before we go on to today's subject, I'd like to bring you up to date on three missions that were launched to Mars in July. All three have done multiple course corrections and are expected to enter an orbit around Mars in February 2021. The United Arab Emirates Hope Probe, after entering its Mars orbit, will remain in orbit around Mars. NASA's Perseverance Lander Rover will descend to the Mars surface soon after arrival in its Mars orbit in February. And the China TON-1 mission, which includes an orbiter, a lander, and a rover, will enter the Mars orbit in February, but will not touch down on the Mars surface until sometime in May 2021. We will keep you updated on all three missions as they reach their orbits around Mars. Okay, let's get on to our subject matter for today, Sierra Nevada Corporation. Sierra Nevada Corporation is a privately held aerospace contractor specializing in aircraft modification and integration, space components and systems, and related technology products. The company was founded in 1963 with employees working out of an airplane hangar in the Reno, Nevada State Airport. Fatih Osman, the current Sierra Nevada CEO, was one of 20 employees when he and his wife, Erin, acquired Sierra Nevada Corporation in 1994. The company has since made about 20 acquisitions and grown into a multi-billion dollar company with more than 4,000 employees. Sierra Nevada is headquartered in Sparks, Nevada and has 33 locations in the United States, United Kingdom, Germany, and Turkey. The Osmonds are private owners of Sierra Nevada Corporation. It's been mentioned in the press that the Osmonds are looking to raise additional capital for Sierra Nevada Corporation so that it can compete better in the space exploration marketplace against the likes of Blue Origin and SpaceX. However, there's been nothing discussed publicly or published publicly. Sierra Nevada Corporation's main business has been obtained with the U.S. Department of Defense and NASA contracts. The company's been involved in over 450 successful space missions, including 14 different missions to Mars, providing a variety of products and components for the missions. Sierra Nevada's partnering as a subcontractor to Dynetics, who submitted an Artemis human landing system proposal to NASA. The Dynetics team was one of three proposals selected for further study, along with Blue Origin and SpaceX, and awarded a phase one contract for further design of their Artemis human landing system spacecraft. Dynetics and its partners have since built a full-scale mock-up of their Artemis human landing system spacecraft, which is shown in this screen image. Overall, 
The Dynetics team management and technical ratings were listed as very good by NASA, making the Dynetics proposal the highest rated at this time period. Sierra Nevada is building the cargo Dream Chaser space plane. The Dream Chaser is a reusable lifting body space plane which has been under development since 2010 and will be used to fulfill Sierra Nevada's commercial resupply contract with NASA for the International Space Station. Sierra Nevada's Dream Chaser space plane is a multi-mission space utility vehicle designed to transport cargo to low Earth orbit destinations such as the International Space Station. Dream Chaser will provide a minimum of six cargo missions to and from the space station carrying critical supplies like food, water, and science experiments. The Dream Chaser named Tenacity is currently under development and will be the first orbital vehicle in Sierra Nevada's Dream Chaser space plane fleet. Recently, Sierra Nevada received its Shooting Star transport vehicle at their Colorado production facility for integration and testing with Tenacity. The Dream Chaser, which does not need a pilot aboard, returns to Earth with a gentle runway landing similar to, national, to NASA's shuttle systems. Once the Dream Chaser is certified for cargo deliveries, Sierra Nevada has plans to modify the interior so it's going to be able to carry a crew of seven astronauts. Sierra Nevada recently delivered a full-size mock-up of the Dream Chaser to Johnson Space Center in Houston. This mock-up will be used to train the astronauts on all functions and uses of the Dream Chaser. Dream Chaser's first flight was recently delayed and rescheduled for 2022. With that, I'm going to close today's video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments box below and we'll do our best to answer them. In the meantime, if you like today's video, give us a like. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way, you'll receive an email every time Reaching for the Moon posts a new video. In the meantime, thank you for watching and remember always, Failure is not an option. Bye.